In this video we will be revisiting the Radio Flyer Ultimate Go-Kart and I'll be replacing this stock computer brain thinger with my homemade computer wire wad which actually worked. Work, well, we'll get to that. At this point I've replaced both motors on this thing and I took the circuit breakers out that protected this old computer brain here from overloading. It's still acting up so we have one wheel that's moving faster than the other one as you can see here. Here's what I think is going on. These DC motors are brush motors and those brushes and all the little internal components here wear out over time and as they wear out they draw more current. When it needs to draw more current because it's wearing out it gets hotter which makes it wear out faster which makes it draw more current, which makes it get hotter. You can see the cycle, it's a vicious cycle. They were drawing more amps than this computer guy was designed to draw. And this says 25 amp max. This had gone over 25 amps fried the brain so now one motor was getting a lower voltage than the other motor and it was driving slower. That's the theory. So what's the solution here? Completely bypass, bypass what I assumed was a fried brain and create my own brain out of these three relays and a bird's nest of wire. Before I put this whole mess into the go-kart, I put it together outside and wired up some buttons and wired it up to the old motors just to see if it would work. And it was a success. The button would turn on the motor and the switch would reverse it. So then it was time to get it wired up to the cart. I swapped the button I had in the circuit for the foot pedal. So the foot pedal would turn on the motors, would just power the whole thing. To switch the polarity on the motors, I hooked them up to the reverse switch on here. So that reverse turned on reverse mode. Now I have the motors and the switches all hooked up, it's time to test it. First things first, I wanna see if the wheels are going the same speed. Hopefully that was the computer brain and not just the motors worn out. There's a fuse in there and it does not like all the power that's being drawn. Right away I realized that the motors were still drawing too many amps for the one remaining circuit breaker that was between the batteries. It was at this point that I realized that I'm tripping the uh, 18 amp breaker. The only safety left was the 40 amp fuse. I'm not gonna take that out. I don't wanna be blowing 40 amps through all these wires right behind my kid's back while she's driving around trying to have a good time. All right, I'm just gonna have to face facts here. If I run this like this on the bench with no resistance on the wheels, if it trips this fuse, I think I'm gonna say it's a done deal with these motors. There's a chance it'll catch on fire while my daughter's driving it, which is not, not cool. So let's see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, da, da. My poor disappointed daughter. All I wanted to do was buy her a cool present for her third birthday. And now she's four. And she's ridden it for like, not enough, not enough. Okay, so here's the plan. I've been researching bigger motors. I'm not talking about these bad boys. I'm talking about like electric scooter motors, electric go-kart motors, like big motors with chains on them. And here's the goal, okay? I would like to keep these two batteries because the batteries are fine. I know they're fine. <laughs> oh, don't touch them together. And I'd like to put a sprocket on this axle and somehow make this a live axle so the wheels are connected directly to the axle. Put some bearings on here, put a big motor on here, put a DC motor controller with a uh, pressure sensitive foot pedal. And I'd like to do it all in a way that I'm using minimal tools. So any of you parents out there can probably do it with a small amount of handiness. I'm gonna try not to use my welder at all. So yeah, if you're at this point like I am, follow along. If you're not at this point yet, call Radio Flyers customer service, okay? Just try it. I didn't try very hard to work with them. They asked me if I had let her drive it on something bumpy and at that point I was like, ah, yes. But I didn't really wait around for any response after that so Probably definitely voided my warranty at this point. So my advice to you would be 
try that first. If that doesn't work, follow along on this whole project because I'm gonna I'm gonna make this thing. really cool. Go ahead and check out my other video where I replaced the motor because maybe for you replacing the motor will work fine. I don't know why it didn't work for me. I have a whole step-by-step -step on how to replace the motor, where to buy it, all the tools you need. I also explain how to remove the fuses if yours is doing that, but I guess at this point I probably wouldn't. I don't think I would recommend that at this point, but go watch the video or hit subscribe. You pick. It's up to you. I'll see you soon. Ah!